To make shorts like Dan O'Cal drawings, as Kathir has requested over and over again, you first need some voiceover. Lucky for you, I created all the elements you're gonna need for this tutorial, including the voiceover. So you can just download them right now using the link in the description below. Good. Do it. You want to follow along, plus this is cool stuff to play with. We're going to drag our voice over to the timeline just like that. Hit Shift Z so it fills up the timeline. When you're writing a script for shorts and for any video on YouTube, you immediately want to get into it. That's one thing that Dan O'Cal Drawings does very well. In the first two seconds, you know exactly what you're going to get. I think I have a pretty good hook right here. Everyone's afraid AI is going to take over the world. One thing Dan O'Cal Drawings is doing right now with his shorts is he has this graph paper background coming towards you and away from you and rotating for like all of his shorts. And, and here's how we do that. I've got some graph paper right here. I'm just going to drag it to the timeline and make it last the duration of our voiceover. We want the aspect ratio to be correct for a YouTube short, which is 9 by 16. So I'm going to click on ratio right here and choose 9 by 16. And bam, that should look pretty familiar. Let's scale this graph paper up to, I don't know, about like that for a good starting position. Next, we're going to add keyframes for the two properties we're going to change. We're going to modify rotation and scale. To do that, we just click on the scale keyframe button and the rotation keyframe button. Then we go forward, I don't know, maybe a second and a half or so. And we want to scale it up quite a bit, maybe about 590%. You can go to 500. We're going to go a little farther. So we're going to type 590. We also want the paper to rotate about 60 degrees to the left. So we're going to go minus 60. We're just going to turn off the audio so we can watch and not have to listen to me. And now the paper scales towards us. And to make it go back the other direction, what we can do is just copy this keyframe. This is a new thing. You can copy and paste keyframes. So we're going to click on this keyframe, hit Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a PC, Go for it, I don't know, about a second and a half. I'm not trying to be perfect here. And I'm going to hit Command V or Control V on a PC. And now we can see that this thing scales towards us and then it goes back. And to make it a little more even, let's just stretch that guy over a little farther. So about the same distance apart. So far, it would look like this. It comes towards us, then it goes back the way it came. And I want it to go the other direction. So I'm just going to go forward again another second and a half or so. And I'm going to change this to 60 degrees. It's going to go the other direction. Just type in 60. Bam, it immediately added a keyframe. And notice it didn't zoom in. I didn't zoom it in here. So to zoom it in, we're just going to hit scale and type in 590. Bam, so it's going to zoom in the same amount. So now we've got it going like this towards us and then back and then the other direction. And then to make it go back, what do you think you do? We just copy and paste that keyframe again. It's going to hit Command C since it's highlighted and go back here and hit Command V. And so now we've got this thing going towards us and away from us, both directions. And that's kind of great, except if you look at it, it's pretty linear. It just stops and goes. It's linear. We don't, we don't like linear. We want things to ease in gently and ease out. To do that, we right click and we choose show keyframe animation. And we're just going to add a keyframe graph at each one of these keyframes so it can ease in and ease out. First scale, I'm going to double click here. And I go to each one of these, I can click on it and then just type this guy right here, which is an auto curve. And that's the curve you want. If you start messing with these other curves, it's probably going to not give you the result that you want. So let's just to stay simple and, and use these auto curves. I'm just going to click on each one of these for scale. You may notice that over here, it's kind of hard to click on that one. So you can just use this left arrow to get to it. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's highlighted so I can add that for scale. And I'll do the same thing for rotate. To close the keyframe animation graph, you just right click and choose hide keyframe animation. And now it looks like this. I'm going to deselect the clip by clicking here in the timeline. And now we've got it going towards us. And it's much more gentle, much cooler. But then you might notice that it just ends right there. Oh no, what do we do? So to fix that, we need to add some more keyframes and we've already created them. You don't need to recreate them because now in CapCut, we can copy and paste keyframes. We know that this is the starting keyframe, the same one as this one here. So we don't need another one of those. We want this one. So I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it. We know it's highlighted because it, it's blue. And I'm going to hit Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC. Go forward about a second and a half from this keyframe and hit Command V. And then I want this keyframe as well. Command C and go forward a bit, hit Command V. And then I want this guy, Command C and just go to the very end by hitting the down arrow and then the left arrow once. So we're actually on this clip, hit Command V. And I'm going to make sure these guys are spaced pretty close to the same. Doesn't have to be precise, just kind of about right. And let's see if it's working forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Yeah, perfect. The next thing you'll notice is that 
Dan O'Cal Drawings emphasizes his hook with some custom text, and I created that custom text for you. So let's go ahead and listen to what I have down here and put the text where it goes. Now you could use the automatic captions in CapCut, and I have a lot of videos on how to do that, but his is pretty custom, so I created it for you in Photoshop. You can create elements like I've created for you here using Photoshop or Photopia, or just download it and just and take, take these. Remember, we're not trying to imitate or duplicate Dan O'Cal drawings. That guy already exists. You're not gonna replace him. You've gotta do you. We're just taking what he does and learning these techniques so you can apply these techniques to your videos using your own style and your own voice. Let's go ahead and just listen and position these custom captions. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take over the world. So everyone's, and to do this, we just listen and trim accordingly. Everyone's af afraid, so I'm just going to get rid of everything after this. And I keep sharing these keystrokes with you so you get good and fast. I want to add an edit here. I'm gonna cut it right here and delete the rest of that. The keystroke for that is W, everyone's afraid everyone's afraid and then ai so i'm gonna hit w and so on and we're gonna do this for the rest of it you don't have to watch but you'll you'll do the same thing because you downloaded all the elements right right now just having this stuff in line it looks like this everyone's afraid ai is gonna take over the world we've got a couple problems the text is is too small it's just popping on with nothing interesting and i've got this line here so here's a way to just fix all of this once and then have it automatically adjust the rest of these clips so the first thing to get rid of this black line which is a mistake and you'll have stuff like that happen i want you to understand how to get rid of it not think oh no this is no good i gotta recreate everything i'll just hit mask choose rectangle and then just adjust the mask so i can see that really well and then bam and we crop out that little black line at the top that mistake and now it's ready to rock. So that part's good, but I want that to be a little bit bigger. So we're just going to click on Video Basic and make it a little bigger, a little more obnoxious. I also want it on the top like Dano has. I'm just gonna drag it to the top right here. And the other thing I wanna do is have it pop on in an interesting way instead of just appearing. So to have it pop on, I'm gonna make sure it's highlighted. Now I could keyframe it so it moves into position from the top or bottom or whatever, but that, that takes more effort and CapCut makes it really easy to animate things in or out. So we just make sure the clip is highlighted in the timeline. We select animation, we make sure in is selected, and we can choose any of these animations for this to appear on the screen. And to test it, I just click, it's like everyone's, I mean, that's kind of cool, that's cool. His are kind of basic, so we could do something a little more basic. How about cross shake? Cross shake is, Pretty good, right? I'm gonna turn off this, we don't have to hear it, but let's go ahead and look. Everyone, I kind of like that. If I go through it slowly, one frame at a time, I see that looks that looks pretty cool. Um, it's maybe a little long. This thing is only 14 frames long and that thing goes for like half of a second. So we'll just shorten that up to maybe 0.3 seconds like that. And that, that works, everyone's, but then it goes down there and they're all messed up. To fix all of these at once, I'm just going to right click on this one, the correct one where it's all perfect and choose copy attributes and then I'm going to highlight all of these and choose paste attributes and now I get this window I'm just going to leave them all selected and hit paste and now it looks like this everyone's afraid AI is going to take over the world and it feels like all of these should come about a frame earlier because they're animating on so to move things over one frame if I just make sure that the arrow is the tool I have selected here I can click over these and I get these blue bars and it lets me move both of these at the same time so I'm going to do what's called rolling this edit back one frame. He's gonna click on it, roll it back one frame, and do the same thing with all of them so that these come on a little sooner and it's gonna be maybe a little more accurate for us. And now let's check it. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take over the world. And that feels correct now, right? Next, let's bring on the graphics that go with the text and the voiceover. So everyone's afraid I used AI and with a bunch of uh, prompting was able to make a little rabbit here that is, you know, kind of like Cal drawings. I, I can't draw, so I gotta rely on AI. So this guy looks like that, which isn't bad. He's maybe a little bit big and we're just going to scale him down and position him right here. But like that looks good. That's everyone being afraid. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take over the world is going to be a different graphic. So this one's gonna be gone by then to get rid of him. From here over, I just typed the letter W and he's just popping on. We don't want him to pop on. Now we could just use keyframes to animate him on and off of the screen, or we could use the built-in animations. So we make sure these highlighted in the timeline and we select animation here and we choose an in. So a fun in could be, I don't know, jelly. That kind of works. And jelly would look like this. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take. And right around here, we want him to leave. So to have this dude leave the screen, 
we're just going to select it out. I'm gonna go back over to animation and choose out. And let's find a way for this little rabbit dude I made, leave the screen. How about drop down? That kind of works. And that's his style of stuff comes up, down, on, off, like that. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take over. So for take over the world, we just do exactly the same thing. Here's the world ending. And I want the world to be bigger and more obnoxious. So I'm just going to scale this up and make it really big. And I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna put it right here. And now I just need to choose an animation for this to come onto the screen. So make sure that in is selected. And let's find something fun. How about collision? And that looks like this. Take over the world. I'm not. That looks pretty good at shaking the whole time. It's just a little bit too long. So we're just going to make it shorter. Again, make sure animation and in is selected. And we'll just drag this back. And I want it to leave somewhere around here. So I'm going to use what keystroke? Add an edit, delete all that, W. And I want an out. So I'm gonna click on out and choose any of these for it to leave. How about drop down? Oh, by the way, if you're serious about YouTube and making a living on YouTube, you really wanna know how to edit and how to grow a YouTube channel. And in my course, Edit with Trevin Master CapCut, I teach you everything CapCut does. You learn to edit in like two days. Plus, I have a section where I teach you everything you should do with every single video to make sure, guaranteed, you get more views and more subscribers. Like, take those 10 steps, you get more views and more subscribers than you're getting right now. I guarantee it. If you don't, just tell me you don't like it for whatever reason. I'll give you your money back. So check out my course. Link in the description below or go to mastercapcut.com. It'll, it'll change your life, dude. So far, it looks like this. Everyone's afraid AI is gonna take over the world. I'm not. So for I'm not, it's gonna be me saying I'm not afraid. So I'm gonna drag this image of me down here. And when that thing pops off, I'll be there and I wanna pop on in a fun way. And I wanna be a little bit bigger. So it's gonna drag this, make me bigger, maybe turn me sideways like that. So it's more interesting and have it kind of fill the frame. It's also the color's not great. And I wasn't gonna show you this, but if you think ah, I need it to be brighter, more poppy color, all you gotta do is click on adjustment and just scroll down to here and just drag the saturation up a little bit. And then it's, uh, the color looks a little more vibrant and fun now. And then we're just gonna do the same thing for the rest of these and it's gonna be pretty obvious. We're just gonna animate all of these off and on, either using animation in to come on or out to come off. I'll do all these by myself and, and you can do them the way you want right, right now. Just, just pause and do them yourself. Okay, I've got it roughed out now so we have all of the graphics up here, but there's a couple little issues. Number one, I see some dead space in the voiceover. I don't want it to pause at all. For these shorts, they've got to move really fast. I'm just gonna tighten up the voiceover a little bit. Uh, I, right here where that pause is, I'm just gonna add a cut right here by hitting Command B after highlighting this or Control B on a PC. And then I'm just gonna drag this back and shorten that a little bit and make that a little bit tighter. And down here, right. with your deformed AI, and here there's a little pause there, so you can get rid of that pause by Command B to add a cut or Control B on a PC. Drag this guy back a tiny bit. And then there's one more little pause right here I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna hit Command B and drag this back a tiny bit and make that a little tighter. And bam, that should be pretty good. Notice some of these overlap because I want this one to be leaving as this guy is appearing. It makes it more fun. So that's some things for you to try. Now this one, it's, 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 too small, I need it to be bigger. So I've got it animating on in a fun way with one of those animations and leaving in a fun way, but let's make the whole thing bigger. So I'm gonna just highlight it and just scale it way up and maybe just rotate it by clicking on this guy down here, just a little more interesting. Maybe just kind of focus on her face in the beginning and then we'll focus on something else in a second. So watch this. You can sleep again at night with your deformed AI generated. Okay, that's maybe too big, so I'm gonna scale that down because I wanna focus on something else. So keep it like right there in the beginning. And now it looks like this. Now you can sleep again at night with your... Okay, so you can sleep again at night. So I'm showing her when you say you can sleep again at night, but listen to what I say here. Deformed AI generated arm. With your deformed AI generated arm. So AI made this creepy arm right here. So I wanna focus on that. And to do that, I'm not gonna use an animation. I am gonna use keyframes. So I'm just gonna figure out where to zoom in on that so it stands out more. Your deformed deformed AI generated arm. Gonna click right here, set a keyframe for position, rotate and scale for all of these. And I want it to punch in or get much closer to the arm right here. So I'm just gonna go forward a few frames like that. I'm gonna scale it way up and I'm going to rotate it back a little bit by clicking on this guy here. Let's, let's go backwards a little bit like that. Opposite direction like that. And we really wanna focus on this deformed arm. So I'm gonna scale it way up like that. 
and it'll look like this night with your deformed AI gen. Now that's okay, but it just, it just popped in. What do we do to make it softer to kind of land more softly? Well, we right click here, we choose show keyframe animation. And the only properties we modified were scale and rotation. Actually, we modified probably all those X, Y, and rotate. So what do we need to do? We need to go to each of these keyframes and add a curve just like this. And I'll do that for all of them. You don't have to watch. And once we've added all the curves, we right click and we chose hide keyframe animation. And now this looks like that. Now you can sleep again at night with your deformed AI generated arm. Now that's okay, but it but it's not moving. We want more action to happen. So because it just pops up and it gets big and you see the deformed arm, we're just going to add an effect that CapCut has that's really helpful for making things just kind of kind of float in space. If we go to effects over here and we type in rebound swing like this, we get the rebound swing effect landing here and we can drop it on this guy and now watch what happens right. with your deformed AI generated arm and now it's bouncing around and it has a lot more interest and we can do that for some of the other clips as well it's up to you if you want to add them to your other clips the only thing we have left to do is add some music he has some kind of 8-bit gaming music so we're just going to click on audio and choose 8-bit game and see what happens I've tried this one before I think it'll work yeah, that kind, of, that kind of works, right? So to add that to the timeline, we just click and drag it down here and we end it when this all ends. Let's check and see how it sounds. Okay, I can't hear me and the music's too loud. So to fix me, we're gonna highlight me, go to basic and choose normalize loudness and watch what it does. It raises all the levels. So it's a little better now, listen. Everyone's afraid, a little better, but the audio for the Turkish march is way too loud still. Just gonna drag it down here, it's highlighted. So I can either drag it down here with that line or drag it here. I find that minus 15 to 20 works pretty well. And let's see if that works. Everyone's afraid AI is good. Yeah, I think that's that's about right. I can hear the music and I can hear me clearly. And we can see that it's not clipping. Clipping means going over the red too loud. In fact, to double check the levels, we can click on this meters icon here and it brings up big meters here and we can listen and see if it gets too loud if it goes over zero everyone's afraid ai is going to take over the world now nah, it's clipping just under zero that's that's about right next let's just maybe add one sound effect for when uh, this girl pops into the screen you'll see why that's shocking in like two seconds just going over to audio i'm going to type uh boing cartoon and we have this cartoon bringing sound that might work we're just going to drop it right here when she shows up and maybe take the levels down a little bit so it's not too obnoxious and test it. And got this. Yeah, that kind of works. In a second, I'll show you the final masterpiece. We've covered keyframing a little bit here. If you want to get a really strong handle on it, you want to watch this keyframing video right here as soon as I show you this. Everyone's afraid AI is going to take over the world. I'm not. I asked AI to make an image like Dan O'Cal drawings rabbit and got this. Now you can sleep again at night with your deformed AI generated arm because...